Hey guys, what's up? Uh, welcome to the first episode of Stools and Tools. Uh, I should have done this a long time ago since uh, I'm always looking for content for my YouTube channel. So I've done so many projects and haven't filmed them. So I figured, hey, let's just start now. And uh, that way my son can someday see that his dad uh, did actually do some projects in his youth. So, uh, this one's gonna be a first for me. We're gonna be replacing the carpet on the deck of this pool. This is a, what is it, 1990s? I think it's 1991 or late 80s, uh, Esther Williams pool. Um, it's a very good quality pool, um, but obviously my in-laws have had it here for over 30 years, so. Um, it's time to get a new carpet. Last year I replaced, uh, I had the liner replaced and um, come on, I'll show you guys. Uh, yeah, so last year I had the liner replaced and I also had the um, electrical outlets and timer installed by a certified electrician. So um, this year I wanna replace the carpet and uh, I've already got the filter installed I just need to get this tarp out of the pool. So as you can see, the tarp is kind of uh, torn right now and I won't be able to reuse this for the next season. The problem is, in my opinion, that it's not a waterproof tarp and I think it was a little too wide. So with the snow and the rain, and over time it just sinks into the bottom and you know the tension of the weight of the water just rips it even though i try to follow the direction that everybody gave me use bungee cords use clamps um you know it's i haven't had any luck yet uh any winter out of the three that i've tried this so i'm gonna try a different tarp next year next uh winter this this winter and see how that works out and try to maintain uh, the schedule of pumping the water out, off the top of it. And it also didn't help that I had two floaties right there in the center to kind of help uh, disperse the water and the ice. And yeah, one popped very early into the season. So uh, with that said, uh, this is the project. Once I get this tarp removed, we have to get rid of this uh, carpet so um, let's get on with it Hey guys, it's uh, voiceover Fabian here. At this point, I realized I couldn't get this off by myself, so I called up my cousin-in-law, John, and he was able to come and help me take this off. Uh, shout out, John. Um, I also don't have footage of us finishing to get this off because it started raining, so I had to put my phone away. But uh, yeah, we had to dump the leaves and the dirty water back in the pool because uh, it was just too heavy to take off. All right, guys. Um, day number two. So the tarp has been removed uh, a lot of the stuff that was on it went inside the pool but that was the only way I could get rid of it uh, get, yeah remove the tarp so it's okay I've got the robot going I'm shocking the pool just gotta probably clean it a little bit more uh, this this time around manually so it's okay so today what I want to try to get started is uh, removing see if I can figure out how to remove these side panels to get under the carpet right here and we'll see what happens um, this is the current condition so you can see I think it, I can I think the majority I'll just be able to peel it off I probably won't have to do too much work uh, on this side maybe these corners um, it 
require a little bit more uh, manual labor. But yeah, so let's get started. I'm a little concerned about these corners because they're tied to the actual deck. So to the frame right here, we'll see how that works out. 20 minutes later. Okay, so we're about like 20 minutes in and we've already hit our first roadblock. All right, so taking this side panel was easy. Look, you can tell how much the carpet has worn out in 30 years. So I'll have to work at this glue. It's a little bit more glue here. Um, so the issue is that I won't be able to remove this piece to get under here. Uh, in order to do that, I would have to undo this whole plate. And this plate goes all the way to there. It's basically this triangle piece looking thing. Um, and I'm not gonna do that. That's just too much work and uh, I'm doing this by myself so I don't have anybody to help me like keep it leveled or, you know. Uh, <laughs> so the ish, yeah, the problem is that these, these are, would be easy to take off, but those are not the only screws holding that plate. There is another set, these guys up there. So those are holding the plate that's holding on the carpet, which is like this plate right here. And th this plate too. So the plate holding the carpet is this one and it goes on this track and I guess it gets installed first before the base because I can't even see the other end of that screw. So to get access to that and to remove this thing, I would have to remove this whole platform. Yeah, that's not happening. So plan B is to do my best. I just kind of lifting it up here and trying to get that carpet out. It's kind of hard to do right now with one hand, but I was able to get it a little bit higher. I think I can get in there, cut a little bit of the carpet out, and then I'll just uh, stuff the new carpet in there when it's time. So hopefully that will work. Um, yeah, so let's continue. Okay, so update, um, we've removed all the side panels. That went kind of smoothly. Um, not a lot of problems there. I did have to put these guys back because I realized that they're holding the corners. So if I'm gonna work on the deck, I just want some support. The only thing I have left to do is go grab my sockets and uh, figure out uh, what I need to remove these two guys. And I'll be able to take the ladder off because I thought taking the screws off of here was gonna be enough but no it's tied down it's one piece so um, gotta remove those bolts underneath and uh, and then I think I'm ready to start scraping off this other carpet so um, I will update you guys later <laughs> 